Two days before Hurricane Ian hit, a gruesome killing in Northport that may not have gotten that much attention at the time, but ends with an arrest. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Earle. And I'm Nadine Giannis. Northport police said a man pursuing a romantic relationship with a woman in late September ended up stabbing her 38 times in her home. Investigators in Northport say they found the body of the victim at a property along Haberland Boulevard in Northport, South Haberland. And we talked with police today about why it took 10 weeks for charges. The narrative from Northport police on Friday morning revealed a crime at a home on South Haverland Boulevard, so violent and so deliberate that police noted how unusual it was. You know, this is a pretty rare type of incident for Northport, typically a very safe community. We have, on average, less than uh, two or three homicides a year. Now 53-year-old Michael Douglas support Charlotte is in the Sarasota County Jail, facing charges of first-degree premeditated murder. Investigators say on September 26th, responders found a woman dead in her home with at least 38 stab wounds. Police say the victim had just returned home from work. The search for evidence took on many different methods, from interviews where police say the victim's daughter said Douglas was trying to build a romantic relationship with the victim. Crime of passion. Uh, typically, you know, that's why it was very important for us to understand who was in our victims' lives. You know, this didn't appear to be a random type of act uh, that we just needed to know uh, who our victim knew. Northport police also said an off-duty officer captured dash cam video of Douglas's Jeep Cherokee near the victim's house that night, but parked it in a manner to try and disguise it from the road. Then the DNA evidence came back this week with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement reporting Douglas's DNA was inside the victim and also a partial match on her fingernail clippings. And that final step from FDLE is why police say they feel confident now in moving ahead with the case. Yesterday, we got the results uh, from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement of a positive match on someone that we had been, uh, was a primary suspect in this case, and uh, he was arrested yesterday.